Coming up, the new luxury upgrade kit for Transformers Earthrise RC. Stick around. What's up guys, it's Phil from Crossfire Collectibles. Uh, today's the short little video, we're going to go over the new luxury upgrade kit for Transformers Earthrise RC. So this upgrade kit gives you more of a G1 feel. It has some uh, some fillings for the back of her legs, upgraded backpack so you don't have the giant piece of car, and it comes with an extra gun. Uh, some assembly and disassembly is required, and it can be a little bit of a pain. So in this video, I'm going to go ahead and show you how to do that. So go ahead and sit back and check out what we're going to do. And uh, I'll try to show you some instructions from the seller itself while we do that. So uh, first off, you're going to need your Transformers Earthrise RC. You saw in a previous video, I opened her. Great figure. Love it. And then second off, you get the new luxury upgrade kit. Now this is purchased on eBay. So here you go right here. Um, several sellers sell them but you, know, you can find one pretty decent. Here's uh, two of the back thigh pieces and two of the back shin pieces. We'll go ahead and get these out. Let's put those aside. And here's our shin pieces. I'll show you the each side of one of them. They will um, plug right into the back, right above her ankle right here, and the top right below the knee right here. And here's two of the back thigh pieces. She has some uh, slots, as you can tell. This just looks horrible. It's all open. So they will plug into these open slots on the back of her thighs and right underneath her butt. <clears throat> Then we have upgraded pistol, which is a bit larger. I still kind of like the original one, but um, I'll gear up with both of them just so you can get an idea. And here is the upgraded backpack, which looks so much better. The uh, colors match up, you know pretty pretty well there's a slight difference but you know they're pretty on which is that's a good thing so anyways uh we'll go ahead and get into this but uh first if you're new to the channel please be sure to like share and subscribe for future content so as you can see here's a little box that the stuff comes in you know, you have two little baggies this box was also inside of another box just a little bit larger larger that's a a little bit larger than an old cassette uh, cassette take deck, but um, yeah, it's not much. You know, it was in the mailbox, and I uh, popped it open. I was like, "Cool, here we go." So I'll bring everything here in the frame. So what you're gonna need is a small, thin tool. I have this little screwdriver here. It's pretty thin. It's a bit thicker than I need, and then I have a pair of pliers. So what you're going to have to do is behind her right here, she has a peg holding this car piece on through this, you know, where you see the pink and white right there. So where that hinge is, you need to get that pin out. So uh, this is going to take a little elbow grease. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and take this over to my table and uh, pop, like pry it in some. Might need a little hammer or something with some force to knock onto the back of this to try to push it through. What I'll do is grip it with these pliers and then just pull it on through and we'll see what we get. So, we'll be right back. Okay, so we got that out. That was a bit of a pain. But uh, I will show you the pin. Here's the pin right here. So basically what I had to do was line this up with the top of that. You know, from the left side as the instructions say because there's a little bulge on the right side that needs to pop through and trying to pry it all the way through the other side just isn't gonna happen. It was hard enough to get that little piece through the right side. So what I did was I wrapped her in a towel and made sure, you know, 
nothing would get damaged, you know, she's knocking against it. I put this, this little screwdriver head onto the tip of this and I uh, kind of smacked it through for quite a few times to be able to come out the other end. So once it was finally popped out about this much, I took the pliers, got a grip at it, kept her wrapped in the towel because, you know, it's, it's kind of hard to get a grip on the figure and I don't want to squeeze it too tight and break it. So I wrapped that around and stuck the towel up in between her arms and around her legs and everything. Got a grip of that and slid it out. It was, like I said, it took a little bit of elbow grease, but it came out. Here it is, and we're ready to go. So here's the original back piece of the car that is no longer needed. Now again, this does not, it does not damage it too much. Um, you're basically just taking the pin out and removing it. So you can put her back into alt mode if you need to. Um, I wouldn't suggest putting that pin back in, but you can simply slide that back on if you want to use the original and it does stay on without the pin. And then in alt mode, shouldn't be a problem. So uh, first things first, we're gonna go ahead and get that gun out of here. And we're gonna start with the legs. So we'll spin her around and we'll grab the left leg piece. Again, you have the two slots here, one longer on top, one shorter on the bottom. Just kind of line them up with the grooves on the back of her leg and pop it into place. Next, you'll take the lower calf piece, you know, with this tab on the bottom and one on the top. Put the one on the bottom close down to her ankle. Pop that in. The other part will stop right below her knee. You put that in and there you go. One leg done. That already looks significantly better. So we'll get the other leg done. You can line up those slots with the grooves. And pop it on into place. Second calf piece, right below the knee and right above the ankle and popped in. <clears throat> there you go. That was great. Really is an upgrade for her legs, especially. That whole open back of kibble was just horrible looking. Alright, so now here's her back piece. As you can see, she has a little circle piece here, and of course, with the hole in her back, you can simply just plug that right on, and you have an upgraded backpack. Our seat. Now this isn't a super tight hold. It's fairly easy to remove. Um, if you never plan on putting her in alt mode again, you could glue this on. But um, I'm just going to kind of, you know, give it a little force and let it stay, you know, on display like this. And um, I'm happy with that. That looks great. As long as you don't wiggle around and shake it too much, it's not going to fall off. So that's cool. Uh, the upgraded blaster here. Like I said, it's a little big, man. I'm just not too fond of it. I do like her smaller ones better. So I'm gonna take this off while I do that. But um, yeah, I'll give her I'll give her two blasters. Why not? Have her hold the one up, you know, like she'll she's ready for something. I'll give her her little head spin again. I'll give her other blaster right here, aiming to shoot, kind of how I had her on display before, just without the other arm up. And then I'll put that back piece back on. And there we have it. Bring the box and the pin back into play. There's your new luxury upgrade kit for Transformers Earthrise RC. Very cool, nice investment. Um, it was only about 15 bucks. You know, it took about a week and a half to get here from, I think, China. But uh, overall, I'm happy. It's a, it's a very good upgrade kit, a good addition, especially to cover up some of that back mess. I might um, have to get some of these kits for some of my other figures. But uh, yeah, it's, it's really good. If you have a couple extra bucks and you want an upgrade and you don't like how it looks, I would definitely recommend getting it. Um, again, I'll leave a link in the description to the seller. And you guys can go ahead and check them out if you'd like. But uh, yeah, so that's going to do it for this one. Hope you guys enjoyed what you saw in this video. If you did, please leave a giant thumbs up. Subscribe, tickle that bell so you're notified when we post future videos. Be sure to follow us on social media, and we will see you in the next one. Peace. <laughs>